Three sheep? Well, here's your feed. <laughs> it, it takes forever to feed this guy. It takes it one by one. No! Here with your latest and greatest Minecraft video. And today we are going to be looking at one of my newest inventions, the original. I'm not sure if everyone anyone else has came up with it. But yeah. Um it is a pet cage, but not just a normal pet cage. It's kind of like Pokemon, except little cage Pokemon. So basically what I have here is a sheeples. I colored it green with this lime green. So basically what you need is lime green or any color to color your thing. And you'll need gunpowder. So yeah, it's just normal sheep and sheeples. If I feed it one, two, three gunpowder and I click this evolve thing. Holy crap, it's a creeper. Now, huh. I wonder what would happen if I, um, wonder what would happen if I were to, um, put in six, since I don't really like creepers. Holy crap, that was scary. Um, so what we have here is the final evolved form of the, of the sheeples. Kind of scary. Um, also, another feature to this cage of awesomeness. A hologram. Called, and it has pet house, I'll get to that later. And we can pick different locations or biomes for our things to live. Where, where, where'd it go? Fa. But anyway, if I try to evolve, like, let, let's just say my slime's back. If I try to evolve it, no matter what, I'll say, sorry, Ethan, but you can no longer evolve this pet. I'll get to that later, but also there's this, and this. So, yeah. Let's get into it. So, first of all, Let's go over here. Now the first thing I'm testing is it'll set a, I it summons a redstone block right here and it sets it back to air and it tests for two blocks. Test it compares this dropper that has three gunpowder in it to this dropper, which if I drop three gunpowder in it, if this, if they both were to match, and they both had three gunpowder in that exact same slot, and they were facing the same way and everything, the comparator will turn on. The reason I have a trail of redstone is so it can keep moving on. Now, I'm not sure if you need to do all of this, but, yeah. The thing you need is two more redstone blocks. You'll need the ex first of all you have to oh you can't see it. Let me go more in depth about the test for blocks. Blacks. Basically it's testing the same coordinate of the block instead of for blocks. Just see? 
and yeah. Urg. For this, we're using an execute command, which basically executes, it finds the sheep, named sheeples, does that, then it summons a creeper with the custom name of creeples, and then it kills that sheeples because, yeah, we don't want a extra sheeples lying around. Now here's where things get unneeded, just for the extraness. Right here I did clone, um, it clones this to the dropper so you don't have the same thing. And then I have these, where it makes a sound with the play sound command. And yeah, same thing here, except the creepers. Uh, for the no longer, you can no longer evolve this pet. I was testing for a t slime, and then when the comparator turns on, it would say sorry at P nearest player, but you can no longer evolve this pet. Right, as you can see right there. Now, basically, um, for the um, the different kinds of biomes or whatever you want to call them. Basically, all I was doing was I was cloning an area. And then taking it over here. It's that simple. Not even that complicated, right? So, let's start from scratch here, actually. So, I made this custom thing. For a cage like mine, it'll be a 3 by 5 by 3. Height. No, wait. Base? Or whatever times the width, times the height, so 3 by 5 by 5 by 3 would give you this. Now, I have some barrier blocks here, and a slab, so my slime doesn't escape. If a um, slime, or a spider, or something like that, then you don't need to have this. You don't need to have the, um, the slab. I just put it there for my own uses. So basically, what you want to do is build your thing up. So let's say I want, let's say I want a candy land. So, um, how about pink wool for the ground. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Let's have a little lollipop. Remember, it has to be three height. Can't be taller than that. So yeah. You can have like, I don't know. I would make some terrain. And I wouldn't put it like on the back, it would kind of break the feel. But yeah, and remember, you can make this any size. I just decided to make it this kind of size. But then, what you want to do is you want to take the coordinates, 
write them down somewhere. I'm just going to put them in chat. 464. Take this part and then actually this would be easier. 214. 57. 464. And then you take this part and you do 218. 54. 460, and then you copy all of it, and then you go over here, oh, that was close, then you go over here, and let's use pink wool maybe, yeah, pink wool would be good. Just do that, and then you get a command block, any, just any command block will be fine. Take it down here, just put, type in clone, and then paste in the coordinates, and wherever your thing is, always remember the coordinates. I have them written down in command block so I always remember it then you copy the coordinates for that and you paste them in there and hopefully th this works press the button there oh also one thing you will need always in your little place is lighting especially if you want to make a bigger one so yeah we also have a give up pet so basically it's kills anything in the radius of five except for a player I have a slab right here so yeah also the hologram where is that? Yeah, that is a complicated thing. It summons a horse way up there that is riding, oh, and it's named whatever you want the hologram to say. And it has an age of negative 17, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, whatever that number is, I forget. Um, and it's riding a wither skull, and it has the directions. Don't worry, I'll paste all of this in the description at one point. But this is confusing, like some of my friends who watch my videos. So, basically, that's all I have to show you guys. This is um, Gaming 10 and Up, signing out. Peace.